Hello everybody, this is Steve. Uh, I actually own a, a motorcycle shop called Hoy Vintage Cycles, but I recently got back into RC airplanes. And uh, as you can see over here, I kind of started out with a timber and a cub and got a really good deal on this uh, extra. And then I got this glider, it's the Fox FMS 3000 millimeter. And uh, I can tell you about this Corplast uh, sh shell I put around the original packing so I can transport it back and forth. What I really like about this glider is it's big, uh, it's powerful, it glides really well, and I'm actually using a, um, a DJI uh, goggles and flight unit on it. That may be another post. What I don't like about this plane that I need to tell some people out there is the fact that this wheel right here after just a few flights um, will come loose and start dragging and catching and then it'll just start nosing the plane into the ground on every on every um, landing so what I did is I kind of took a screwdriver and I peeled all the way around this little molding piece and got this molding piece off. Then I took an X-Acto knife and I X-Acto knifed out where this little screw goes all the way across. This is basically the axle. So if you notice when the plane lands, so it's upside down, so it's going that way, right? And that means the ground is going this way. Watch this screw when when I keep landing. See how it's starting to spin out? And then pretty soon it spins all the way out and it's cock, cocking sideways like this. And um, it's causing for some really stupid landings. So what I did is I cut a little piece out with the X-Acto knife and then I'm gonna put a little Loctite on that screw. Now really, they should have done it from the other side so it's always tightening and eventually it won't tighten anymore and it'll just be an axle. So I thought I would share that. Uh, I may do some videos uh, later down the road about how I got back into this. And I used to build some Coroplast planes back in the day, about 10 years ago or so. I'll probably build some more of those because they're just so durable and fun to fly. Um, there's a uh, kind of a scratch-built uh, cub I'm making out of double-sided foam because I'm just getting back into this and checking out all the new technology and, of course, uh, flight tests. And uh, I've seen all those videos. But... Uh, hopefully that was uh, directly to the point, and uh, we'll talk to you later.